do this. Hello everyone, hope you're doing super great. Welcome to Ravana. And if this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because you're gonna be getting notifications of my new videos and all the recipes and cool things that I wanna share with you all. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the essentials in the kitchen. And please take in mind that you don't need to have all of these kitchen tools in order to have a raw vegan lifestyle, but these are just some of my personal favorite recommendations for you if you want to make your life in the kitchen a little bit easier. But it's really cool because when you're learning more about this lifestyle, it's like entering a whole new way of eating. I mean, we've been told to eat a certain way, most of us, for all of our lives, and then all of a sudden it's like, <laughs> like you change. And so it's, it's really easy, it's just getting used to. And these essentials will help you. So let's get started with the uh, uh, electronics. All right, so Vitamix. So you don't need a Vitamix. Any blender will work, but uh, this is a great machine because it's gonna last you a long time, a lifetime, and it blends really easily. You're gonna need a blender for sure because one of the easiest ways to eat fruit and veggies is by making smoothies, and you can make really, really, really delicious creations. So, number one, blender. Number two is going to be a juicer. And this is a slow juicer. It's an Omega Vert. And juicers are great because you're gonna extract all of the nutrients from the fruits and veggies, and when you drink it, it's gonna be like a super boost for your immune system. So, juicer, great. <laughs> Another juicer is a citrus juicer. And although you can make orange juice either in the blender or in the juicer, I really like using a citrus juicer. It's just easier and I mean, who doesn't love an orange juice in the morning or at any time of the day? It's delicious. Next is a food processor. And before I started this lifestyle, I didn't know, I didn't really have an idea how to use a food processor. But it comes in really, really handy because it makes, it helps you create like very different, it helps you create very different textures to the food. And it, it comes with different blades. So if we open it, here you see that we have this blade. And this is great if you want to do like a, I don't know, like a date paste, or if you're doing like desserts, or if you want to crush up almonds, or anything that you want, like a really mushy, even like kale or celery, I mean, yes, even kale or broccoli or cauliflower, it becomes like this really nice, very thin texture. So for things that are harder to eat, like cruciferous vegetables, you wanna use this blade. And then it comes with different types of blades, so you can grate, shredding, and it, it really comes in handy. And this is a um, Kitchen Aid brand, and it's pretty good. Next electronic is a Yonanas, and this is an ice cream maker. So it's a fruit ice cream maker, and basically you put in the fruit here, and it comes out here like really, really nice. And I love it. It's um, You don't need this, you can make the ice cream on the Vitamix too, but this one comes out just like really creamy, like if you were, you know, having a real ice cream, so I like it. Okay, next up is the veggie cutters, and these are gonna make your life a lot easier in the kitchen, because as you know, we chop and cut a lot of veggies. So, number one, a, a lot of you might know this one, is a spiralizer. This is gonna make zucchini, cucumber, beet, carrot noodles, all types of noodles, and it's really cool because it comes with three size blades, so you have this little one, this kind of medium one, and this one which is gonna make bigger noodles, and it's very inexpensive. This was like $25, so pretty good. Okay, next up is a chopper. And this is really, really cool because all you have to do in this one is uh, you, place you for example if you're cutting a red bell pepper you cut it in slices and then you put it here and you just go like that it comes out in squares like this 
So it's really cool. You don't have to be like chopping and chopping and chopping. Next one is a mandolin. The food processor is also going to shred, but if you want just, if you're not shredding a lot of things, it's just really cool. So you can shred like jicama or celery or carrot or any, anything that you want to, you want to shred. And, and it comes with different types of blades. So this one is great for tomatoes if you want to make like, you know, tomato slices that look like really perfect and pretty. You're gonna want to use this one. <laughs> Next is a salad spinner. Okay, so this one or for any leafy greens spinner. So basically what you do is you take this, you wash, and you put it underwater so it gets rinsed. And then you put it here, you close it, and when you do this, the, the strainer spins and it dries the veggies. It dries the, the leafy greens faster. Okay. Okay. More veggie cutters. This is a peeler and this is going to be great for cucumbers or carrots or anything. I'm just going to peel, peel, peel. This one is super cool and it's to open coconut waters. And this was a gift from a friend. Thank you. <laughs> and um, basically what you do is you just put it in like this and you can get the coconut water really easily. You just put in a straw and you're there. So you don't have to use like the huge knife and be like cutting, it's, it's really easy. And another really cool one, and these two are for melons. And this one is really cool. You basically just cut the watermelon in half and then you press it down like this and it cuts the watermelon or melon in wedges. So it's like perfectly sized wedges and you don't, you know, it just makes makes it a little easier. This one is my personal favorite and if you've seen my pictures on Instagram where I put the, where I make really pretty melon balls, it's with this little melon baller. And it's cool, it has two sizes, so tiny and a little bigger one. Really, really like this one. Okay, uh, next, obviously you're gonna need a knife. So you're gonna want a sharp knife. And if you're like me, that you live in a house where not everyone is raw vegan or even vegan, you're gonna wanna have your own knife because it just, you know, it's cleaner and better. So I have my own knife and I use it for my veggies. And you're also gonna wanna have your own cutting board. And I personally like a wooden cutting boards better. And I like this one because it has like this on the side. So when I'm cutting like tomatoes or something juicy, everything goes to the side and it's not like all over the place. And one good tip is that, again, if you're living with like non raw vegans or vegans, you're gonna wanna have your own cutting board and you can switch sides. So for example, I use this side for sweet things like fruit and then this side I use it for onion and other more savory things. That way like your watermelon doesn't have like an onion taste to it. So that's that. And obviously, last but not least, uh, mason jars for your smoothies. And this is, I just love it because for us that we're drinking like huge smoothies, cups, like normal cups are too small. So this is perfect. This is one liter uh, worth, uh, this, is one, this is one liter, so it's a really good size. And obviously you're gonna wanna use straws and so you're not using plastic all the time and it just, it's more fun to eat it that way. And I, gla I like, I really like these glass straws or even bamboo straws are nice. And also uh, this uh, to-go wear bamboo things that it's, you know, utensils and you can put it in this little bag and take it anywhere. And basically that's it. Oh, one more thing, a couple more things. Okay, a nut bag. And these can be used for various things. This can be either used to store veggies or if you're gonna make some, if you're gonna make almond milk, uh, which I can show you in another video how to make. If you, if you want it, just put it in the comments below. And this, this little bag just comes in really handy. I sometimes even take it to like the farmer's market and put in my veggies there. That way you're not using plastic. Another thing for when, another thing is, <laughs> 
a bag and I love these bags. I take them to the farmer's market all the time because I put in all my veggies or if I always like like to have it in my car just in case I run down to the supermarket and need to get something and that way you're not wasting more plastic. And one more thing I like to keep in my car is a napkin because I always have fruit and I want to eat sometimes and it just at first it would get like all over the place and now or I even have it in my purse so whenever I want something I can just easily clean it. And of course, last but not least, a bowl. And you want a pretty big size bowl because you're gonna be wanting this for your huge salads. And I love my salads so much, they're so good. So, pretty bowl, huge bowl, and tongs to mix it. And I really like these because it really like gets in everything and mixes it every, every mixes and mixes everything really nice. Okay, well, I think that's it. And I really hope you guys like this video. If you have any more suggestions, please put them in the comments below. And don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and family. And just another, I wanna say it again, that you don't need any of this. I mean, if you only have a blender, it's fine. And don't forget that you can find me on my Facebook, on my Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, and contact me there if you have questions or comments. And thank you guys all for watching this video. Hope you have a great day. Bye. <laughs>